Hey everyone, welcome to the patch 5.0a jungle tier list. In here, I will be ranking the different junglers from C tier up until the S plus tier. If your jungler is located in a lower tier, it doesn't mean that it's stuck there. Definitely, there's a chance for it to go higher, especially if it's your main champion. With that said, everything here is only my opinion and in my observation. So without further ado, let's get into it. First off is the C tier, and in this list, these champions can actually jungle but are not preferred to be seen in this role. They are played better in other roles. Examples are Malphite, Sion, and Nasus, much better being played in the Baron lane even though they could jungle. Kaisa in a similar situation where it's much better for her to play in the Dragon lane instead. Next up is the B tier, where some of these champions are actually jungle mates. Examples of this is Amumu and Graves, and the reason why they are here is that they just don't suit the current meta right now. Amumu can be bumped to A depending on the quality of opponents. If you're faced off with a bad team, then Amumu can definitely be A or even S. But when faced with a good team, there is one item that immediately counters this champion, and it's Quicksilver Sash. Once Amumu uses ulti, Opponent uses QSS, and Amumu can't do anything else, compared to the other tank junglers. Graves is in a similar situation, where there's just so much other carry junglers right now that can do better than him. That is why they are placed in this tier. Other notable champions would be the Bruisers, which are Darius, Irelia, Jax, Renekton, and Seth. These champions can jungle well, but they need a specific team for them to perform properly. For example, Darius needs to be able to reset. If he's not able to get any kills with his ulti, then he's just straight out useless. Irelia can be bumped into A if you're a good Irelia player because she requires good precision with hitting your third skill and ulti. But the reason why I placed her here is that there are other champions that can do things similar to Irelia but just better. Set another champion that can possibly jungle, but is just better played in the Baron lane or even support. Samira in a similar boat, same with Darius, where she needs to rely on resets, much better played in the Dragon lane. Then we go to the A tier, where most of the meta junglers reside. Let's just give a brief explanation on why they are in this tier right now. Camille from S, now devoted to A, due to the changes not favoring her at all, but definitely, still a great jungler. If you're a Camille main, it can still be bumped to S. Mundo is a champion that got promoted previously from B or even C tier. Now at A tier because of the fact that the two new jungle items, Heartsteel and Titanic, benefit him so much that he now has an effect and can help in games. Echo, a standard jungler, nothing much changed. Steady at A tier. Fiora on a similar boat, hard to carry games on your own, needs to farm a bit before becoming more effective. Volibear, on the other hand, has the potential to become S tier. On my personal preference, I think he's on S, but generally, A tier would be a perfect fit for this champion. Gragas is another champion that can be either A or S tier, depending on his teammates and opponents. His usual build is the pure AP build, which is much more efficient rather than the tank build. The only time you go a frontline build is if you do not have any tanks on your team. Gwen, another staple in the A tier. I can't push her further up because the other hyperscaling junglers in the higher tier just outperform her when it comes to the early game. Jarvan, the jack of all trades, can build whatever he wants. But he doesn't specialize in anything, which makes him perfect for this tier. Jace, though, was previously on the S tier, but got demoted to A due to the recent nerfs that he got when it comes to the jungle. Master Yi, a very 50-50 jungler, really good in low ranks, but struggles when you get a higher rank. Morgana is a possible S, but... Due to the fact that she can't carry alone and you need to be very spell efficient with this champion, even though you clear very fast, when it comes to the team fights, you need to be precise too 
use her efficiently. Rengar, a champion that got demoted from S tier down to the A tier, has not gotten any good change on the patch right now. Even though nothing changed with this champion, it's just that the other champions all got better. Ramos has a possibility going S depending on the opponents, especially since the new tank item benefits this guy. There's a chance that he could go on S, especially if the opponents are all AD. Riven on a similar boat to Rengar where she was previously S, now down to A due to the fact that the recent changes did nothing to help her become a stronger champion. Nunu is very interesting since he could go either AP or tank. And if Nunu goes tank, the new items would benefit this champion. But overall, aside from being able to take objectives pretty easily, this guy just can provide CC and be a tank father for his team, making him a perfect A tier champion. Nila, despite getting nerfs, I think is still a decent jungler in this tier. Can definitely carry when you get to the late game. Similar boat with Gwen. Shen, honestly got a promotion I think from B tier now to A. Same reason as Mundo where the two new items benefit this champion so much. I still need to personally test this champion a bit more if he can be bumped into S. The only problem is that he just gets countered with all of the anti-shielding in the game. Fiddlesticks, another champion that fell from grace from S+, plus, now down to A. Not only because of the nerfs that he received, it's also because of his playstyle and how everyone plays right now. No one wants to wait around. They all play aggressive. YOLO and Fiddlesticks is not a champion for that meta. Lilia has a possibility of S. Same boat as the other carry junglers in this tier where she needs to have a good early game in order to pop off in the later stages. Kane can be S depending on the opponents. If they are all squishy, then definitely Kane can be pushed to S. The only problem is that it's not blind pickable unlike the other champions in the higher tiers. Xin Zhao has also benefited from the latest changes. He's the only champion that can actually build Shojin, Heartsteel, and Titanic efficiently. Can definitely be pushed to S. I just need to test him a bit more. But honestly, if you think this guy is a S tier champion right now, I'm not going to object. I just placed him here for safety reasons. Zed is a champion that is a stable A, can be bumped into S depending on the team comp of the opponent, can pop off once he's able to get his items, and if he's able to snowball an early game lead. Wukong is another champion that I need further testing since he also can use the new items. A possibility that he can be pushed to S, I just conservatively placed him in A tier for now. Last is Diana, previously on S, and is now an A tier champion because there's a lot of items that counter her right now. Specifically, Crown, Zonia, Exhaust can all mitigate her burst, and once she's out of position, she can easily be bursted down. On to the next tier where these junglers can definitely pop off, especially when given a good team comp. Eve really benefits from the Crown, and with all of the squishy champions picked right now she can just pop off and solo carry games by herself olaf a very staple s tier pick can pop off if the opponents have no escapes and just carry games from there vi is a champion that benefited from the latest itemizations she can go heart seal titanic to become tanky and deal dps at the same time making her a really good s tier pick right now yone one of the strongest hyperscaling junglers right now because of the fact that he can gank well in the early game due to his Q3 ulti combo. And once he's able to get early kills, it's really hard to stop this champion. Pantheon, I think, is the most interesting champion is this tier. The reason why I placed him here is because he's really good in the current meta where everyone wants to build tank. Despite people thinking that he's not strong into tanks, if you get to the late game, Level 13 Pantheon plus Mortal Reminder can definitely shred tanks, making him a very, very strong champion throughout the game. 
Shivana, I have my doubts, can maybe put in the A tier, possibly the weakest S tier champion right now. The only reason why I placed her here is because with everyone building tank items, Shivana benefits from this since her third skill can shred through all of the armor that they get. Last is Nautilus, endangered to going down to the A tier. The only reason I still kept him here is because his utility usage is still really good. And if you're able to catch people out of position, this is the ultimate champion that can punish them. Last but not the least is the S plus tier where these champions are the current gods of the current meta. Example of which is Lee Sin. I don't know why Riot kept buffing this champion. Now he's broken again. Really good early game. Can just snowball games. Good playmaking and side lane control. Aatrox, despite getting some nerfs in the jungle, I still consider S plus tier due to the fact that he's able to 1v5 games once he's able to get a kill. Getting a reset and even Shojin can benefit this champion. If you combine Shojin plus Death Dance plus his ulti reset, then he can definitely wreak havoc in a team fight. Hecarim, my personal pick, I think the most broken jungler in this patch can go for multiple builds. If you want to build a tanky Hecarim, you can just go for the Heart Steel. But if you want to build damage, you can even go for the Shojin for unlimited Q usage. This guy can do everything from ganking to farming to carrying to engaging. Name it, Hecarim got it in his kit. Kha'Zix, I still think is in the S plus tier despite being a tank meta right now because of the fact that with the new tech on our evolve, he just punishes squishy targets really badly. If the moment they're out of position, they just automatically die to Kha'Zix in just one burst. And that is it for the jungle tier list. If you have any suggestions or remarks, feel free to comment down below. Some of these champions can definitely be pushed to a higher tier depending on your mastery. In the end, tier lists are only subjective and can differ from person to person. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. And that is it for me. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace out. Ciao, ciao. Bye.